Hi, it's me again, Liang Jay. Let's come to the video where we go into hard factorization. The previous two videos we talked about moderate and easy, and I have to remind you the purpose of factorize is to change a originally plus minus question into a times divide so that you can cut it off. Now, so for this case, I have to remind you again whenever we start factorization, we have to check easy. Easy as in, for example, look at 9 and 36. Both of them can be divided by 3, 9. Okay, so I will go for maximum. Maximum will be, you will take out the 9 and you will have 1 and 4 inside, right? But to make it fast, I will just write x squared minus 4 and over x minus 2. Okay, so what you can see here is, too bad, although everything becomes times divide relationship, but you still can't simplify it. You can't cut it off. So what you notice here is A, the x squared and 4, it belongs to this category where we name it as perfect square. So that's the first thing that you have to sort of like be aware of. Okay, that's the first thing. And the second thing is, do you notice there's a minus in the middle, negative? So whenever you see case like this, you can do a shortcut. And the videos that I post here is not about explaining everything in detail. It's just to show you like the suggested um, workings and all the shortcuts that I use. But of course, I'll be writing like extra workings inside so you can, you can how say, see it in detail. Now, so 9, and what happened here is you will put like two brackets whenever you recognize this. And the x square you can change to xx because you square root it. 4, you square root, you get 2 and 2. And for this kind of perfect square related factorization, you will put 1 plus and 1 minus. Okay, so over x minus 2. And now the joy of cutting comes in. Cut, cut, because everything becomes times divide, and your final answer will be this. And if you take this one, times it back inside, don't do that because the mentioned word, factorize. Okay, so yes, you get two marks over here. Now we go into something which is harder, where I put more things inside, where this question to me is like more exciting. So, okay, let's see it. Now, so for this case, again, I have to mention to you, check easy. Nope, nothing repeats. Yes, over here you can pull out a 2 and you left n minus 7. And there's a few things I'm going to show you. The previous, the first, the first video where I show you is about fraction relating to plus minus, where you have to change to the same denominator. But for this case, it's not, because it's times divide. And you can simplify them. But to simplify, the condition is to make sure everything becomes times divide related. So, I'll just write this one first. And I will straight away take the divide change to times, where I think standard 4, standard 3, you already learned that. Okay, 2n minus 14. And this is what you get after you switch the position of your fraction behind. And let's apply all the easy factorize, moderate and hard. Of course, easy factorize, the only part where you can use, uh, use is here. And the perfect square negative version one, yes, is here. Moderate don't have because it must be four terms. So I will straight away convert into two brackets, m minus seven and m plus seven over three mn times with twelve m square over. Uh, the thing comes really where you have to apply easy factorize. So two m minus seven. The joy of cutting everything applies. Cut, cut your three and the four uh, and the twelve. You get four m square m. There is two m on top. M one below. You simplify, you get like 1m on top. Be careful, sometimes you, got, you might miss out them. And now, since everything is like done with all the cuttings, then we will take the 4m left over, multiply with this one, over this one, 2n, like this, and done. That's your answer. Great.